Hello there everybody, welcome to the channel, it's Nuke here uh, Or it is Ezekiel Thomas here at the moment uh, And I'm sure you've all heard of the uh, zombies in Red Dead 2 The um, NPCs that are zombies or whatever, glowing eyes in Red Dead 2 Actually they haven't We are going to head over to the old town of Armadillo And we're going to head over to the old town of Armadillo in Red Dead 2 online To see if we find any zombies um, so yeah, let's uh, skin this little armadillo and head to this, oh yeah, head to the animal's uh, little tower and uh, hope for some zombies. Uh, that's all I look like, is equal Thomas. Alright, so I've just left the uh, magical little place known as Rathskeller Fork. And I'm going to start making my way down to Armadillo now and uh, Red Dead 2. Lobby seems rather quiet actually. Um, but here's a big map, so maybe everyone's on the, uh, got the other side of the map. And I'm the only one sort of exploring this area over here. Um, there's a bit of a, of a, a, a back talk about, you know, is it story DLC, uh, you know, like Wounded Nightmare 2 or something like that, or is it just sort of like something to prepare for an online Halloween event? Um, what do I think? Um, I would love for like everyone else for it to be Wounded Nightmare 2, that'd be amazing and that'd be such a, this is a really cool way to start things off and sort of, you know, start the release of this of like zombies or like Oh, we're at um, Ridgewood Farm now. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, Ridgewood Farm. Anyway, that was so cool. If that's how it started off. Like, you know, Lily Easter got this, and it like ties into the main story of the like the Undead Plague about the you know the cholera in Armadillo, and you know, just goes from there. That'd be really cool. However, given how Rockstar have been for the past five years with like online modes, e.g., GT Online. You know, and how they've been with uh, Red Dead 2 and Red Dead 2 Online so far. It seems more likely that they're going to go for a uh, online mode exclusive event thing. The Outlaw Pass and all sorts of different micro microtransactional bullshit, which is really shit. I mean, I've just started the Outlaw, the uh, Bounty Hunter tree thing. Oh my god, there's a lizard there. What was that? Yeah, I've never seen that before. What the fuck was that? Anyway. Uh, Little graveyard, how we're apt. I'll come back and look at this later. But anyway, it's only that you've got to pay 15 gold to get started with a bank owner's license. Like, you know, and you get paid in gold, and just, it, it's just focuses too much on this microphone for currency. You know, which sucks. But anyway, on what time I do, let's stop talking about currency and microtransactions and weird lizard things. Let's go find some uh, zombies out. Alright then, guys, we are now arriving at the old town of Armadilly Dallo. The first time you arrive at in the original Red Dead, and yeah, in Red Dead 2 it's pretty desolate and dead, one could say. So, there are a few people hanging about, like that guy up there in the saloon. And everything does look a lot like, like the original Red Dead. But, uh, everything's a bit different. I mean, everyone's got cholera for a start, which is like the six and the shits. Always fun. See? Truly, now you're not a zombie, so you're not going eyes. What we are looking for is people with like green, glowing eyes, alive or dead. I'm not overly bothered. So I've heard that they are more easily found in the uh, you know body pits of the game. Um, so I hear there's a few body pits about the place. There's one over here, I think. If I'm right. I think he yeah, has one there. So. My first person mode being all immersive and such. Let's go help find another zombie. Okay, open coffin, open coffin. See, it's cool if it's starting like under Nightmare 2, like they burst out the coffins and armadillo and such. Right, we'll jump down on the coffin, man. Right, over here in this little pit, it just looks like a lot of coffins. No, um, green eyed folk. Dag nabbit. I wanted to see some dead folk. Anyway, let's go find another. Alright, slowly approaching body pit too now. Um I don't know what we'll see, if anything, but more coffins. Uh, okay, no bodies at the moment. So coffin, coffin, another coffin. Oh, there's a lot of coffins about the place. Another like body pit and all, but not a single zombie as of yet. Or like 
dead person with green, yellowy eyes. Interesting, very interesting. I do know that one place where it might have something like that would be Old Cooch Chapel, I think it's called, which is just outside the town, so we'll consider going over there in a minute, but uh, yeah, let's I think we found another body pit, in fact. And what do we have in this one? We have new challenges available. Oh. Now, I can't, I've never really noticed or remembered, but were the coffins always empty? Because, you know, there's a few coffins and they're all empty so far. And these body pits are all empty, which is kind of cool, but also kind of creepy. Alright, nothing in that body pit and the coffins are all closed or they're empty. So, oh, there's a body pit over there. We're going to that one. I better look over there. No zombies sneak on me. I swear to God, if any zombies sneak on me, I'm well, well trigger happy. Okay, there's another body pit with absolutely no bodies in. It's weird because I could have swore there were like piles of bodies in these pits. Unless, of course, they've changed it or whatever, but I still find that a bit odd that there's now nothing in these pits. Um, and there was before. That's a lot of deer. Fucking hell. It's like running from something. It's kind of cool that's where, uh, you know, it's night time, it's all dark and stuff, but, uh, anyway. What are you, what are you running from? Alright, I think the next call to arms is, uh, Old Cooch Chapel, so. Call me old ho horse over, Roach, and we'll head over to, uh, Cooch Chapel. There we are, Roach. Let's go to Cooch Chapel. There she is, Roach. Cooch Chapel. I'm gonna jump off here and, uh, let you, uh, hand back and not be too scared. I'll this building first. This is where uh, the old woman was in that side bitch in Red Dead Redemption 1. Hello? Is anybody there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright. Right, if, I, if you expect to see a zombie or anything like that anywhere, I'd imagine it would be at the uh, church and the graveyard, if nowhere else. Um, and there's nothing in here. Well, I don't know where I'm going to find anything or other. Alright. You can you go in. Alright, the church is locked. It's always a good start. Alright. Okay. Graves, as you'd naturally expect. See, now this is where I think a body pit was, but there's nothing there right now. Hank McFarlane. No, one of the McFarlane's, eh? Alright, there's nothing here at the moment. Ooh, what kind of... Josephine Bird. Cowboy with no name. Jackson Greenwood. Another McFarlane over there. Oh. Hmm. Well, so far we've seen absolutely no zombies and no green-eyed NPCs. But that said, there's one more thing I want to do before we call off a search. I want to go back to Armadillo and just have a look at all the NPCs and sort of see anyone with green eyes. So, yeah, let's head back to Armadillo. All right, we arrived back at the town of Armadillo Dallo. Maybe it's me, but I swear there's like creepy music playing. Maybe it's just me, but I swear it's creepy music. Just wonder if we can like open the uh, coffin by. Oh, you can actually open the coffin a little bit. Oh. Don't think there's inside though. Uh, the coffin's open up a little bit, but there's nothing really inside, so it seems. Empty, empty. Hmm. Odd. Very odd. Ooh, bounty posters. I'll uh, go for one of them. After the video's finished. Right, so actually, like, body greys and stuff aren't really getting us anywhere. Let's have a look at, um, all the people hanging about Armadillo. Hopefully we can find someone, because I have not found a single person as yet. Oh, body, what about you, sir? Are you, uh, you alright, sir? Oh my god. Are you feeling okay? What the hell is that speed? Crazy. 
What the hell? That's that's unreal. My God, I've got to make a video on that. Fuck me. The the speed at which you fucking move when you're crouched in first person. Right, you look incredibly sick, sir. Look at your hands. They look like they're bloody rotted. Right, give me some room. Yes, I would. Bloody hell, man. Are you... Come on. Are you okay? Jesus, it's like you could turn into a zombie at any I moment. You. I could forget you. 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 I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm not sneaking anymore. It's weird. I don't like the movement now. The update it just feels weird. It's too fast. Just love this bar so much, huh? Yeah. You old folk feeling okay? My folk is fine. You okay, good sir? A little bit worse aware, but I don't green eyes or anything. What you say, you alright? Stranger. I can't see your face. The curse? What curse? Yeah, curse. And uh Well, it is proving rather um alright then guys. Well I've uh pretty searched everywhere I can in Armadillo. I looked in all the body pits, I went to the church and looked there, and yeah, it's caught with absolutely nothing, and it's starting to rain now. Um, yeah, I don't know what more I could do, I don't actually... Hello? Oh boy. Oh my god. Yep, I've looked in every body pit, I've looked in the church, well, I've looked around the graveyard near the church, I've looked at all the NPCs I can, got in the saloon, looked in the alleyways, and I honestly, for the life of me, cannot find a single NPC or body with glowing green eyes. Maybe it is just me, but I just can't do it. I really can't do it. I'm going to have a little YouTube and a Google in a minute, see how viable it is, but I thought it'd be fun just to have a, like, you know, right armadillo and have a little search itself, just to, just to see. But, uh, anyway guys, thank you for watching this video, and, uh, um, if you did watch it, you've seen from my, uh, um, experimentation, it's pretty inconclusive whether there are NPCs or bodies with glowing green eyes in Red Dead Redemption. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you do subscribe to the channel. Thank you and goodbye.